Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how simple it is to create and personalize a Contact Us web form for your website on Bulldesk. You will also learn about permissions for creating a web form. A web form enables you to embed the contact form in your company's website or help center. Instead of remembering the support email address and sending emails or calling customer service, the user can create a ticket easily by using the web form. The created ticket will be shown in both the agent and customer portals. As the web form is fully brand-based, multiple web forms can be created for a single brand. Let's see how to add a new web form in Bulldesk. Open the admin section and click the web forms module. Then, click add web form button which will open the new web form details adding page. Provide the web form name and select the brand for which the web form is created. There are three steps to create a contact us web form. They are, form option to choose the form type. Submit button to customize the submit button styles. Advanced customization to add custom CSS and custom JS. Let's see them one by one in detail. There are two types of form options. One is the contact form which displays basic fields like name, email, phone number, subject, and description. The other is contact form with ticket fields which displays all the ticket fields configured to create a ticket form in the customer portal as well as the basic fields mentioned above. Here, you may enter the form title, description, and footer message which are optional fields, and preview the web form. You need to enter the confirmation message here, and that will be displayed after the successful creation of a ticket. Now, I will show you how to customize the submit button. Enter the name to be displayed in the submit button, select the background and text colors for the button, and set the web form's height. In addition to this, the form has a few more options such as, include GDPR consent in forms, allow users to attach up to five files, and Google reCAPTCHA which can be enabled or disabled based on your needs. Following that, we'll look at advanced customization, which allows you to add custom CSS and custom JS to overwrite the styles and script at your own risk. Then, click Add button. The embed code is shown in the dialog after a web form is created. You can copy the embed code and embed it into your help center or website where you want the web form to appear. You can also find the embed code on the web forms list page. When you embed code into your website, the embedded web form will look like this. Finally, to create a new web form, the user must have the permission to manage the settings. In this video, I explained how to create and personalize a Contact Us web form for your website on Bulldesk. I also explained how only authenticated users have the permission to create web forms. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.